Hey everybody, this is Joe from Grower's House uh, and today we're going to teach you how to clone. The first thing you want to start off with is a sterile environment. So I just washed my hands and I have this ethanol rubbing alcohol to sterilize my razor to prevent any bacteria from entering our cut zone and we are going to need a healthy plant so that the vigor from the healthy plant will carry over to the clone. Also, you're going to need a glass of fresh water to dip your cutting in directly after you make your cut to prevent an embolism, which is an air bubble, going up the stem, which would kill your plant. And that would not be a happy start for our fresh babies we're about to be making. Okay, here we go. So, these shoots where the new branching is coming off is called the node. So what you want to do is come about two or three nodes down right before the next node set and at a 45 degree angle with your razor blade you're going to make a quick precise cut like so and immediately dip it into your water to prevent the embolism which would kill your plant. So we're going to hold this one in this cup before we take it over to the power cloner. And I'll show you one more time on another plant where you can take your cut. Here we count one, two, three nodes down directly before this next node set at a 45 degree angle, another quick cut, like so. And we're gonna put that directly into our water. And here we have our power cloner 45 site by Botanicare and what this does is it has sprayer jets in here that'll miss the root zone and also an air pump to increase the oxygen levels to promote vigorous roots and typically in about five to seven days you'll see roots forming in this system and what I did I added six gallons of reverse osmosis water and I use this power clone by Botanicare, the solution, not the gel, at 12 milliliters per gallon. So I added a total of 72 milliliters to the six gallon reservoir. And I use my pH meter to check the pH and it's right at about 5.8. And your pH should be between 5.5 and 6.5. So, we just brought our cuts over from the hydro farm water farm kit and right before we place these into the cloner we're going to go ahead and clean these up a little bit so we're going to take off this node and uh, you just quickly snip this off because if you do not do this these will start to regrow in the rooting solution and that's not good we just want roots not new plant growth growing and how we do this is we just take one of these neoprene inserts that open up like so and we take our cutting make it so that the node we just snipped off is below and exposed to the rooting solution and hormones and we simply just place it in our cloning machine and for our next cut we'll just show you one more time So we're just snipping off these excess nodes so that they can be placed into the cloner. And the last step after taking your clones is to create the proper environment. And they like high humidity, 80 to 100%. And how we achieve this is with a humidity dome, which comes with the Power Cloner 45. And we just mist the inside, mist the clones, and place the humidity dome on top, and close the vents. And that's a quick tutorial on how to take clones. 
you have any questions, call our toll-free number. We're here to help. From Growers House, this is Grower Joe, signing out. Okay, and we're back seven days later, here with our Power Cloner 45 and our spearmint plants. We just took cuttings of a week ago, and they're loving life. And here's their roots. We've had 100% success rate, as you can see, in just seven days. So this is Joe Grower from Grower's House. That's how you take some clones.